you're welcome back to my youtube channel guys so i'm going to be making live outlook for this week yes live outlook for this week so let's get started with bulletin ten index so um, this is 24 hours time frame i'm going to be starting on the 24 hours time frame now what am i looking out for on the 24 hours time frame just for me to be able to confirm my structure for me to be able to confirm the other flow on this higher time frame so what is the other flow of this higher time frame so this is 24 hours and um we had a break of structure to the upside break of structure to the upside here and then another break of structure to the upside again this trading view is not loading us back to the previous time but we're going to make do with the information that we have here so we eventually had this load taken to the downside which is a change of character for me. This is a change of character for me, not the real break of structure. And the reason it is a break of character for me is that this low does not carry a major. So this is a change of character for me. So I'll just check to see how I can continue the movements of the market. So since we had a change of character, what is the next thing I want to look out for? I want to look out for all of this structure that is here, this internal structure. I would call them internal structure. So I would be going to the four hours time frame to check out on what we have and where we can get to continue the markets from so uh, all of this internal structure you can see that we've been trending to the downside of the internal structure regardless of what the 24 hours has given us we had a change of character but regardless this four hours time frame has been giving us a total downtrend i mean we've been trending to the downside so what are we looking out for the last break of structure so where is our last break of structure this is our last break of structure, which is to the downside. This is to the downside. So I am not expecting market to take this eye. I'm not expecting the market to take this eye since market just gave a change of character, not a total BMA. So I'm not expecting the market to come back to reach this eye for now. So let me mark out the high it's violated. The market violated this eye. I dropped this outlook on my channel some, some weeks back some weeks or some days back yes i dropped this outlook for the sale at this particular area so if you not joined my telegram channel you can do that by checking the link in the description box so i dropped this particular outlook and this was where the tp is and the tp has been smashed so the next thing is just to get a continuation so how do we get the continuation i'll be going to two hours time frame just to check what the market has been on the two hours time frame so on this two hours time frame we had our first we had a change of character for this range here. This is a change of character for the range. So um, after the change of character, market came back and read it this eye. Came back and read it this eye. Making this particular high a solid high for us. So we had the break of structure to the downside here. We had a break of structure to the downside of this area. So technically, I am not expecting market to come back and just read this particular high. I am not still expecting it to come back and read this particular high. And the overall high that will confirm us that we might no longer be uh, bearish for some time is when market takes out this main high here. So this is the main high that will confirm us that for some time we might not be having a bearish move. So what is the next thing I would want to do? Since this is my break, uh, this is my last break of internal structure. The next thing I will do is just to get my liquidity. The liquidity market is liable to take. So how do I get my liquidity? I would look for a high that is not a major, that is not a strong high. Let me put it that way. I would look for a high that is not a strong high. So technically this high is not strong for me. This eye is not a strong high for me because as you can see, it did not take any liquidity unlike this other high, unlike this previous high. So we did not take any liquidity. So that's just my liquidity for me. So after that, the next thing I'll do is mark out the closest PO high. I'll mark out the closest PO high for that. So this is the closest PO high of which if market rates this particular place, we can still use another PO high since our last break of structure is to the downside. We don't work based on opinion or assumption that markets will come back and break this high. So the last break of structure, according to 
to this time frame or according to the four hours time frame is that we are in a downtrend. So obviously what I am going to be looking out for is still a sell movement until the market violates that sell momentum. So I'm going to be marking two PO high for my sell continuation. This is the first PO high and this is the second PO high, which is the extreme trend here, which will serve as my sponsored candle that is my sponsored candle over there and i am marking it out because as you can see it took out this previous high it wanted a high here so i'm picking that out so this is just it for me on volatility 10 i mean nothing much nothing less nothing complicated until market violates this particular high then i can say i want to continue the buy movement or the buy momentum to a particular point that market would stop but for now our last structure is to the downside and this is what I would be having for my volatility tell. So let's get to analyze one more asset. So I'm just going to be picking any assets. Okay. I'm going to be picking volatility 50 index for our live analysis for our live outlook here. So um I'm going to be going to the 24 hours time frame to check for the overhaul order flow. Okay, so basically. We are limited to this information based on this trading view. So what I am going to do is that I'm going to mark out a break of structure to the to the hop side here. This is a break of structure to the hop side. Since we have this break of structure to the hop side, market created another break of structure to the upside. So technically, we are in an uptrend based on this information. You can check your weekly time frame to check the overhaul order flow. But based on this 24 hours information, we are currently still in an uptrend based on what market is giving us. So since we are still in an uptrend, for now I'm going to be looking out for a buy momentum on the market violates a particular path. So uh, unless market is reacting at a weekly point for this loop, unless market is reacting at a strong area for this sell continuation, that is when the buy would definitely be violated. So where is the low that will violate our buys? Let me mark that out. This is the low that we eventually violate that. Oh, I am not ready to buy again. I am not going to be buying for now. So, <laughs> so because we have the low, took out a low here. We had all of these points here. We had all of those manipulations there. So this is the low. This is the only low that we violate that we are no longer in a buy momentum. The market has shifted. So this is the only low that can violate it. So how do I get to see an area where i would continue in the market so this low is not my strong low i'm going to be marking it out as a liquidity this is not a strong low for me so i will be marking it out as a liquidity this is my liquidity area i'll change this to dashed line so as not to confuse it with our area of break of structure so since we have this as the liquidity where is the feel high we can't mark out this is the only area we can mark out which is our sponsored handle this is our sponsored candle. And remember, we do not work based on opinion. We have to wait for markets to do what? To give us an entry confirmation at this area for us to be assured that we are going to continue in the buy. If not, markets will violate all of this area because this sell might be reacting at a very major on weekly time frame. So all of these places can still be violated. <clears throat> you just have to get your entry confirmation to be able to continue with the market. So I'm going to be going to my two hours time frame to check for an area where um, we can continue the market, perhaps continue the sale to get to a PO high. Okay, so this is, mm -hmm. so we had our last break of structure to the downside based on this time frame. We have a break of structure to the downside here. Then we had another break of structure to the downside here. Since we've been able to identify that. So where is the area that will violate this cell movement? Let me look out for an area that will violate this cell movement. So um, this eye, you know. All right, so this is the high that would violate the cell momentum. So I am not expecting this high to be broken. So I'm going to be marking it out right now. Let me just use my horizontal rib in pointing that out.
So that is my that is the area that will invalidate this cell momentum to the downside. So how do I pick my continuation entry? I'm going to be zooming in. Then looking how to an untested areas of the market. Untested areas of the market is where I'm going to be looking out for. All right, so this is an untested area of the market. The market is liable to come back into this is my first area. Of course, markets might not want to come to this area very soon. So I'm going to be checking out for other areas where it is very possible for market to continue the sell momentum to get to our PO high. So we have this PMS to the downside and um, so is this a major? Yes, it is. This this side is not a major. So the next area I'm going to be going to get in this time frame just to refine that particular entry. I'll be refining that particular entry. All right. So this is what we have here. We have this here, and we have this sponsored candle which is the origin of the markets untested markets has not tested that sponsored candle which is the origin of the market so obviously i am expecting the market to get to this area for a cell continuation to get to all of our areas other areas i cannot mark them out because they are not my setup in as much as markets might want to continue for many of those areas but those areas are not my setup the only setup i have is what i have marked out and that is how it is guys thank you for attending my how to look have an amazing and profitable week ahead bye guys